Good morning. You're welcome to Flip TV News. My name is Victor Ajayi. First, the headlines. Reasons announced before birth of Benin, Oshiomole. ICRC evacuates 117 people from four medical facilities in Madagui. The news in full. The do not send it to Adam Oshiomole has explained why he knelt before the Oba of Benin, Oba Ewari 2. Oshiomole said he knelt before the Oba of Benin because he understood and respected the traditional institution of the Benin people. He disclosed this while featuring on channels TV policies today on Monday. The lawmaker also noted that the outgoing governor Godwin Obaseki was a failure. Oshiomole recounted that Obaseki could not point out any primary or secondary school he built during his eight years as governor. According to Oshiomole, I am exactly that we won. I have and I have the rare privilege of presiding over the affairs of Edo State as governor for eight years and I understand the needs of the people. I know what the state was when I left and what it is today and to some extent, not a few people believe that I should be blamed for Obaseki's failure and woeful performance. During the campaign, you listen to us and Obaseki, you can't say he pointed at the Okra Modern Primary School that he built or dried his secondary school he built. Instead, Ibu Odalo said he would extend broadband of Edo North earlier in the year. Obaseki and Ibu Odalo said they had done a feasibility study and there is approval from FAEN to construct an airport in Edo North. They assured the of Benin that the great people of Benin will have a seaport in Gerigiri. They brought former Vice President Shibajo to a groundbreaking of the industrial park, yet none of this has taken place. If you go there, these places are occupied by lizards and snakes. Even the drainage idea to deflood Bini city, a compromised it, and this is rainy season. So the timing of this election was good for us and bad for the PDP because when it rains, nobody can step out of his house. They have nothing to parade other than that Asui was the chairman of one million boards and had made money, but what Edo people know him for is that he was just a transaction partner. As a sitting governor of Edo State, I understand and respected the institution of the Oba of Benin and all the royal fathers of Edo State. I always knew down before the Oba and we always do so, even when the current Oba asks me not to do so. A father is always a father. ICRC evacuates 117 people from four medical facilities in Maduguri. The International Committee of the Red Cross said that it has evacuated 117 people from four medical facilities affected by the rising waters in Borno State. Ali Yudawu, the public relations officer ICRC, said in a statement on Monday in Abuja that the Cross also donated 150 body bags to the NRCS, the State Specialist Hospital and State Emergency Management Agency. Allow them breached the banks in the early hours of 10th of September, causing flooding in Maduguri. Prior to the incident, every rain flooded many areas in the state, affecting road access. More than 414,000 440, people have been affected, with many houses and crops destroyed. There is real concern for the civilian population already affected by ongoing protracted conflicts that will be said. According to him, in coordination with the ICRC, Nigerian Red Cross Society, volunteers and staff have been involved in search and rescue operations. He said that they also carried out medical evacuations and giving first aid, as well as reuniting families separated by floodwaters and the safe and dignified management of dead bodies. Their team have retrieved 22 dead bodies to date, while 76 children have been reunited with their families. A total of 117 people were evacuated from four medical facilities affected by the rising waters. I see the ICRC has also donated 150 body bags to the NRCs, CS, the State Specialist Hospital and the State Emergency Management Agency. NRCS has launched hygiene promotion activities in three camps, hosting flood affected communities in coordination with ICRC that will be said. That will be said as part of cholera preparedness drive, the ICRC was positioning contingency stock including aqua taps and chloroquine powder to respond. The ICRC has organized psycho social support sessions for NRCA staff and volunteers who have been involved in multiple flood response activities. In the coming days, the ICRC, in close cooperation with NRCS, will hand over essential household items to affected households, including mats, blankets, tarpaulin, skating kits, hygiene kits, and loin coats, he said. According to him, ICRC also assisted Niji, Cameroon, and Chad to address their flawed EUs. That will be all on our news update this morning. Join us for more stories on our channels. Flip TV, Flip TV Plus. My name is Victor Ajayi.